Right, <clears throat> hi guys, uh, welcome to Go Detecting. Um, today, the videos I went out on a local dig up near Barnard Castle um, and I used a Golden Mask 4 Pro instead of my Deus today. Um, I've been hearing some really good things at the Northumbrian Search Society meetings about how deep these machines are. Um, so I thought I'd give one a go and uh, I'll show you what uh, I found. I, could only, I couldn't do any live digs, I was literally there for just a couple of hours in the morning uh, on some pasture near a castle, there'd been some Romans found and some hammered, hammered coins from the medieval times found so you know there's possibly we could get something deep using it so I was quite excited to see what I could find so uh, hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you at the first, second, third and fourth and fifth and how many other digs there might be and then at the roundup. okay, see you then Well guys, here we are. I'm trying the uh, Golden Mask 4 Pro today. Uh, on a venue out near Barnard Castle. There's been a silver denarius, a hammered and some gold found already. Now I've had that nice loom weight, very interesting, and a little coin. And we'll get back to you if there's any more good finds. Because uh, I've only got a few hours today, there's going to be no live digs, really. Um, unless it's an amazing signal and I'm just going to show you what I find. Okay, catch you at the next. Okay, first hole out on a dig near Barnard Castle. Let me get that. Some kind of heavy lead weight. Here comes Pat and uh, Michael. No idea what that is. I'll get back to you hopefully when I do. Okay, next hole. Let me see where the imprint was, here, that's the imprint, and that's what was there. Very, very thin coin. Hard to see anything yet. But I'll give it a clean and get back to you. Woohoo! First coin of the day. Right, huge deep hole. Over nine inches. Pro point is nine inches, so that's probably ten inches. And the Golden Mask 4 Pro has found this absolutely tiny used lead bullet. Three ringer. It's hit something. Unbelievable how small that was. Right at the bottom of that hole. I thought the signal disappeared. It was a good signal. And then it disappeared, so I kept digging. Still no signal. Used the pro pointer and there it was. Unbelievable. Fantastic. On to the next. Okay, I've been dig digging quite the quiet weak signals, hoping to get a bit more depth. This wasn't that deep. Just in the spoil pile. And uh Yeah. No ideas. It looks old. Oh, it's got a lovely green patina on it. Might have snapped off something. It's been Roman denarius has found, so you never know. I'll get that checked out by someone who might be in the know. Awesome. On to the next. Okay, another hole. Let's have a live reveal. Signals in the bottom somewhere. Well then, it's a coin. I think it's a toasted coin. Very, very thin. Let's see if get some light on it, man. Yeah. Nothing. Might be able to get something off it later. Okay, I'll get back to you. Alright, I've given it a bit of a rub, and that to me. is looking like a possible hammered coin. See the edge just round the, the edge there, the rim? And there's a bit of detail on there. Short of a pro, Let's see what they can tell us, but I think I've just got a hammy. Oh, I hope so. We'll see. We will see. 
If it's not a hammy, it's an old coin. It looks like there's a bit of a bust there, so it might not be, but I do need to uh, investigate that further. Oh, come on. That would be flipping awesome. Get in. Okay, really good signal on this, and it's out. So, it's in here somewhere. Somewhere. Oh, it's a coin. Oh, looks like a pound coin. Oh, no. Oh, it's an old threepenny bit. There we go. Oh, cool. It's my first. I've had threepenny bits before from all the people and stuff, but it's my first one metal detecting. Let's see if we can get some light on it. There you go. Three pence. Awesome. 1940 something like that. Oh. Uh, I'll have to have a look at it when I get home. 1940 something. Okay, cool. Threat a new bit. See you at the next. Okay, another hole. And this one's just popped out here. It's like a small spindle wall or something. Lead disc with a hole through the middle. A tiny one. I don't know if it might be a dress weight, but spindle walls, and I don't know if they're that small. However, I have the spindle wall expert, Pat, Pat Law, with me, so uh, I shall go and ask him. Okay, on to the next. See you. Another really deep hole, very faint signal to start with, and then it disappeared. I uh, couldn't find it, so I dug a bit deeper. Again, over nine inches, and it's out. I think it's just a piece of lead. Hi guys and welcome to the roundup. Uh, bit of a mixed bag today. Um, as you can see, I was pretty much digging everything, just getting used to the signals. Um, hadn't quite. I think coke was given pretty good signal, so uh, I was digging bits of coke. There was a little bit of a grunt at the end of it with a golden mask, um, so maybe. I, I think I was just worried that if it was a good signal next. To a, a bit of iron or something like that. Um, I, I was just digging it because I wasn't sure. So I've got a bit of coke, bits of uh, iron, got an old iron ring, lumps, some copper wire. This is an old pen knife. Um, don't know if you can see very well with the the blades. It looks pretty rusted up though. But that was an old pen knife. This is a stirrup when it's crumbling. Oh dear. An old stirrup. I can get this into the light for you. You'll be able to see it better. There you go. So, yeah. Old crumbly stirrup. Looks quite old. But if there's any stirrup experts out there who can uh, help me out, let me know. So, they were the kind of iffy to bad signals. Oh, these bits of pottery came out of one of the holes. I don't know how old they are. I know there are some Facebook uh, sites on pottery. That looks quite a modern glaze, not sure. This one looks a little bit older though. With uh, the glaze on the inside. Just in case anyone's an expert out there. Loads and loads of trash on the site. There's aluminium cans, loads of foil, ring pulls, um, bits of lead. This is the one that I found at the end on the last one before the the, uh, the memory card was full on the camera. I uh, found this little bit with a, what looks like a, a V on it. But yeah, bits of lead. So then on to the things that I did find that were interesting that I found on camera and, uh, and off of camera. 
So the first one, oh my goodness, which was this, and that is, I think, a loom weight, that's the best guess. Normally they have a hole at the top to hold down, but it looks like this is an older design that was just tied on around there, and that would hold the loom down, made of lead, very heavy, but yeah, that's pretty cool. This is also a lead weight, this is for an old spindle wall, not very decorative this one, quite small for, compared to some that you get, um, but that would be to wear down when they were spinning wool into yarn, uh, and out and about that would wear that down while they were spinning it. So that's medieval, pretty cool stuff. Another lead, this is the small lead bullet, it's obviously hit its target, or hit something, um, that was over 10 inches down. Very impressed that the Golden Mask 4 found it. I'm not sure if the Deus would have got that that deep. This uh, wasn't on camera. Don't know what. It, at first, I thought it was a bullet, and I've cleaned it up. It's got a lovely green patina on it. Um, but again, just a bit of tubing. I'm not actually sure what it was for, why. And this will be found in the field. When I've got it home and cleaned it up, it's actually got a hollow hole in it, so it looks like it's the handle of something, or the top of something. Um, and I've put it on a few of the Facebook sites to see if they could uh, help identify it as possibly Roman or thereabouts. It's uh, it's quite old, maybe medieval. Um, but yeah, really interesting to know what that is. Off, obviously something popped out of there, some kind of pin or scribe or something. I don't know. Okay. Hopefully, when I find out, I'll put the comments below the video. So the coins today. We've got a nineteen. 70s is it? 1987 penny Elizabeth II. We've got an Elizabeth II old 5p from the 1970s. There's the 5 there. A threepenny bit. You can just see the edges, and that's from 1942. There you go, 1942. Three pence. That's the one from the war, pre Elizabeth II, which is pretty cool. This just looks like a, a toasted old half penny, um, but there's nothing. Can't get anything off it. Completely toasted. And then this is the coin that could be either Edward, or William, or Charles. Um, I'm hoping to get an expert from Facebook to ID it because it's a male bust pointing in that direction going that way, I don't know if you can see that so it's not a hammered um, and I think when we turn it over yes, just start to see the figure there a head and a hand it looks like it pops in Old Britannia, and the date, which is near the bottom, it's, you're never going to see it on this uh, video, around about 16, 1600 something, um, hopefully I'll be able to uh, get a better idea on that, and again, I'll uh, post a comment at the bottom of the video, but nice little old coin there. So no hammers, um, no Romans, there were quite a few bronze Romans and a part of a silver denarius off the fields today and a few hammers, but uh, not for me. But yeah, okay, found some really good things with the golden mask, very impressed with its depth, especially with small targets. Um, not so impressed, it's, it's first time out though, I've got to get used to the discriminations with it, um, to try and discriminate from, like the bad signals, the cork and the iron and things like that. Unfortunately the aluminium and the lead and 
bits of copper wire you're always going to have to dig because they have to give off a good signal but first impressions is uh, it's not a bad little machine for the money you know you can get one for about 300 quid um, and uh, yeah quite impressed so I'll maybe be out using that again at some point and I'd like to do a comparison on the depth I'll do a depth test with the Golden Mask 4 Pro and the XP Deus at some point and see um, see how they compare okay hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you again on another episode of Go Detecting please like the video if you like it um, if you don't put a thumbs down um, but yeah just let me know if you're liking them or not there's lots of people viewing them we've had 1,000, 3,000 people viewing some um, but then maybe only 30, 40 likes so if you like it, it doesn't cost you anything, just hit the like button. Um, if you're watching it for the first time, subscribe and you'll be able to see some more. And I'll hopefully catch you again on another episode of Go Detecting. See you later.